Y'all, this is Maddie from Maddie's Kitchen, and today I'm going to make you all some delicious lamb chop, garlic flavored, butter flavored lamb chops. And here's the lamb chops I'll be using. This is a, considered the lollipop one, and I'll be using two packs of these. I bought them at Publix. They're not, they're not expensive as I thought they were because I never cooked them. But anyway, these was $19.99 a pound. Okay. And I'll also be using some, it's not in order. I'll be using some Parmesan cheese, some uh, lemon pepper, chili powder, lemon juice, and here's some cooking wine. I have some extra virgin olive oil. I have some... Um, this is garlic infused flavored olive oil. And here's some garlic paste, pepper, salt, uh, onion powder, red pepper, and parsley. And the fresh one I'll be using is uh, parsley, uh, red onions, and shallot. These and parsley. These are things I'll be using. Some fresh lemon. Also some uh, 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 carry uh, gold uh, butter and some uh, rosemary. Those are the things I'll be using, and it's a lot of things, and as I use them, I'm going to introduce them to you again. And so that if I miss something, when I start cooking, it won't be missed. Okay, the first thing I did, I let my lamp uh, set out for about 15 minutes to become a room temperature. And the first thing, you can use all-purpose season, or you can use salt, pepper, and these onion powder, chili, and lemon pepper. Uh, if you use the all-purpose, sometimes people put add that to it, but I'll be using these. At first, it don't matter what order. I start with pepper. And you're going to do both sides the same way. To my pepper. Make sure you, when, once you do this, you're going to let it uh, rest for a while so the flavor can seep into it. And this, these are called lollipop uh, uh, lamb. They got the rack. And they have the lollipop, and they also got some chops, you know, some chops, but nothing but meat. But I bought these right here because I don't, I never taste it. That's my salt. And I'm going to put a, a little red pepper flakes on them. It don't matter, like I say, no matter how you start it, as long as you use all these ingredients. Or, like I said, all purpose. Okay, now here's my onion powder. I had this open. Okay. Put some of that on there. Is this onion powder? Uh, minced. It's not onion powder. But I'm gonna go, since I started, I'm gonna put it on there. It ain't gonna hurt, but I prefer the onion powder. So I'm gonna have some uh, lemon pepper. You don't have to use a lot of lemon pepper because you'll be uh, using lemon pepper again. Lemon pepper. All this stuff look kind of coarse. Like I said, this is my first time cooking uh, lamb, and I searched all the recipes, and I came out with this. And I like this the best. This is some chili powder. Make sure your chili powder is not old, because it won't do right. It won't taste right. It must go bad quick. But this you some. Make sure you have some fresh chili powder. Okay, that's everything I'll be using to start off with. Okay, put a little. Let me see up over here a little bit and I'm gonna mash this in all these seasons in I use this club okay I'm gonna mash it in and I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna repeat everything mash it in a little bit with your hands or spoon you can mash it in also with a spoon but that's up to you and I'm gonna let it once I get through doing this I'm gonna rest and then I'm gonna make my butter sauce okay I'm turning this over And do the same thing. I'll get back with you when I finish. And like I say, I'm going to let these rest and we'll, uh, for about 15, 20 minutes. And then I'm going to make my um, butter sauce. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do, I season my meat and I'm letting it rest. My lamb chop, I'm letting it rest. My next step is to make this uh, lemon paste, uh, butter, garlic, lemon paste. Okay, I'll be using some uh, room temperature butter. I'll be using about a fourth, almost all of this butter, I can put it, make sure it's room temperature so you can mix the uh, the other ingredients when it won't be so liquidy. Okay, I got that. I'm going to set this aside. And the next thing I'll be using, it don't matter which oil, I'll be using some lemon pepper. It's a lot of 
I guess lemon stuff and pepper and garlic goes in this recipe. Kind of just a dash how you want to use it. Now here's my garlic paste. Just a little squirt of that. Just a little bit. Okay. And I have some uh, a lot of garlic, like I said, but it tastes so good. Uh, some garlic flavor olive oil. Now you don't have to use all of this if you don't want to. That's up to you. Just a little bit. Just took this off. A little garlic flavor olive oil. I put just a tap. It came out a little fast. And now I'm gonna put that's everything. I put my uh, I put my uh, parsley in here. A little parsley. Just a little bit. And I put some rosemary in here. Here's my rosemary. And I'm gonna mix this together and set this aside to make like a paste. This should make, but what I put in there should be a paste. And I'll do my lemon zest in here because I didn't do that. I had started a little bit, so I, I don't have to put as much as you think. So I'll be doing that. How do you do that? I got it wrong. Set this here. Some of these things, you know, I'm an old fashioned cook. I don't use some of these things in here. Never used them before, so I'm a little awkward with them. But I'm going to get it done. Okay, that's about enough. You don't get much with it. That's enough of it. Because I had started a little bit. So I'm going to mix this together, y'all. Mix all this together and get my paste together. And this going to go, once the uh, meat cook, it's going to go on top of it. So I look like a paste. That's how it's supposed to look just like that. So I'm going to show it to you. Okay, came out right with my ingredients. And those are the ingredients I used for my garlic paste, which was uh, parsley, rosemary, garlic flavor, uh, olive oil. I had some um, lemon pepper and some garlic paste. Okay, I'm gonna get back with you. Okay, I have my skillet. Am I, when you're cooking it, lamb, I guess you can use any thick skillet, but I think a cast iron is one of the best you can use because it's really heavy and thick. Okay, so I first thing I did, I took, I washed my uh, chops off and I let them became room temperature and then I seasoned them. I had lemon pepper, onion powder, red pepper, chili powder, salt and pepper. Now if you had some all purpose seasoning, some of these things you wouldn't have to put in because it's already there. And I, like I said, I mashed the season in. I'm getting ready now to try one on the skillet. I, I, have, I just have enough oil, because it probably make a little oil just to cover the skillet. So I'm gonna put them, and when you put them in the skillet, start from the back like that. See, that's not hot enough, not really. But that ain't gonna hurt them, cut it up some. And see, lamb should be cooked very slow and not fast with medium heat. So I'm gonna let that start frying off. Should another one, should be getting hot. You can be, let it get hot and then you can uh, reduce the heat. Okay, and you put it away from you. I'm pushing that one there. And don't let them, try to not let them touch because when you let them touch, it makes, you know, get water in it kind of, get, just try to spread them out. I have quite a bit, I guess. They look so little to me, I don't know. Seem like I can eat about three or four of these. And I'll put them in here, so that, that's a good fry. And you're going you to, when you're doing this, and the reason I made my sauce before I did that, start cooking it, because you need to watch your meat, kind of watch it closely, you know. I don't, I don't know if I can get all of these in there, but I'm going to let it start cooking. And once it brown, I'm going to turn it over and let it cook. Like I said, nice it's hot, I'm going to cut it down medium, not medium heat, and let it cook. Okay. Medium heat. And I cut them, cut them over about three or four times. You, and the reason you cook them with medium heat because you don't, you want to make sure it cooks all the way through. Once I turn them over, I'll get back with you. Okay. I'm getting ready to turn these over. See how that's a good look. You want to cook them real slow, have the skillet, just medium high because you want to make sure all of this cooks. And when I get to turn them over, that's good, looking good. When I get ready to turn them over, I'm going to take them and stand them up on the side. Let's cook on this side a little bit. And I'll probably be flipping these about two or three times so they can cook. And like I said, have the stove kind of medium high. Or it might be a little lower because you want these to cook. And my, I don't know, is this the size they're supposed to be? This one looks like, looks like a lot because I only see people cook four. I got 
I got 10 in the back. That's in, in, uh, in the, the inscription box. I mean, the comment. Let me know on mine small. Like I said, I never cooked them before. Okay. I'm going to let this brown a little bit on that side. And when, when I say brown, I'm going to turn them up. I'm going to stand them up like this. Stand them up and let them cook on that side too. I wish you could cook that, but I guess it don't matter. Because I've never seen anybody try to cook this side before. Is that the fat side? No, nope, that's the bottom. Okay. I'm going to let these cook a little bit. I'm going to do this and repeat the process. Turn them over again. All right, cooking. And you have to tend to them because you don't want to just make cost a lot of Not too much to me. And you wanna, don't want to mess them up. You don't want to overcook them. And they're going to be tender. Okay, this is how I stand them up. I'm going to stand them up. So I can stand them up. These are kind of some of them. Let's see. Some of them do stand up. Let's see. Okay, I guess I can stand them up like this. I'm going to try my best. And you really don't want them to touch too much. Maybe these are a little smaller to stand up. But I'm going to find a way to cook that side that's supposed to stand up. Yes, kind of give me a little bit. Okay, once I cook each side, I'm going to get back to you. I'm going to turn these over again so that I make sure that it cooks. Okay, they're brown almost. I probably got, and when you're cooking them, cook them about four minutes, three to four minutes on each side with low heat because you don't want them dried out well done. You want these to be medium rare, medium, you know, uh, just medium rare, medium done. Not all the way hard, not well done. Some of these look good, y'all. Like I said, I never tasted them before, but they smell so good. And I had them. Maybe they smoke was a little thicker than this and they stand up better, but mine. I had a problem kind of standing up, so I had to hold them up myself, but I still did it. You don't want them to get too dark, like I said. And they're tender. You can tell. See how they go in there? They're so tender. You have to keep turning them so they can get done. Like I said, I had to work with these a little better. I had to stand because they do stand up if they're thicker. Okay, okay these are almost ready. Maybe a, month, a minute or two. And once they get through cooking, and you want to use all this stuff in here. You're going to post some. I'm going to post some of this oil. Not, you, don't want, you just want the crumbs. And you don't want it burning. Because it doesn't taste good. This is about my third time turning these over and cooking them. Right. Make sure you cook them slow. Okay, this is about medium. Done. About medium. And if you want them well done, you cut the stove up. If you want them uh, medium, cut it down kind of low, medium temperature. And you don't want them to burn. Oh, you know, this smells so good, y'all. Like I said, I've never cooked it before, but I think I'm doing a pretty good job on following directions of what I when I went on the internet. When I'm cooking, I always try to do my best. Okay, that looks pretty good. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this out and put it on a resting pan and get ready to make the sauce to go over this. Okay, they've been cooking about four to three to four minutes on each side, maybe. And I kept turning them. You see how good they look? And also held it up. I cooked this uh, in, too. I tried to cook the whole, let each part of the top cook. Okay, I'm getting ready to take these out because I don't want them to get too... I want to be tender, not too well. This is about medium. This is medium to me. Okay, I'm going to take them set them on here. Set all of them on there. And I can't so some of that grease can fall off it. 
And this grease right here, I'm going to save this. I'm going to make a sauce to go over there with that. There's a lot go to this, and I know all of the stuff I'm putting on it is going to make it taste really good. Okay. I'm probably, like I said, good as these smell. I'm going to have to eat that four of these myself. Okay. I don't want this to burn, and it's not. It's doing coming up. These crumbs, I'm going to need that for my sauce. Okay. Now, what I'm doing now, I'm going to put this... Uh, the sauce I made over here, I'm going to put this on it. On each one of these, I'm going to cut the stove off so that won't burn. And I'm going to get ready when I finish doing this. I'm going to make my sauce. And spread this on some of this. But we're not, I don't need all. I've got to make it work now. Put this on some of on these. I hope I have enough. If not, I just have to... I'm going to spread all of this sauce I made on this. I don't know if it's a better way to do it, but let me know, y'all. Put all this sauce on it while they're hot. You can put it on while they're hot. And then you add, this is the little stuff I made up, the butter garlic sauce. I'm going to put all of this on there really hot, so it's not going to stay on there good. Because it's going to melt off, and that's what I wanted to do anyway, to melt off. Because another sauce is going on here. I'm gonna get back with y'all when I finish this. This is my cooked lamb. Don't that look good? I'm getting ready to make the sauce to go over. I put that butter, uh, garlic uh, uh, paste that I made, and now it melts it off because they were hot. You want them to kind of melt off and go into the meat, and I let them rest. Now, the third step is I'm getting ready to make my uh, sauce to go over. So I'm gonna use, uh, you know, if I don't have the stuff I need, Okay, first thing I'm going to put in, no matter what order, but you do need to cook your vegetable first. So I have garlic and I have um, shallot. I hope I'm saying that right. The fresh garlic. It's supposed to be minced, but I cut them up myself and I kind of minced them like. So I'm going to put this in. It's two, let's see, two tablespoons. About two tablespoons. I'm going to let that cook. And uh, my minced garlic. You let this cook a little bit. I can use all of this. Okay. Let this cook. And you should have a mix all this. See this flavor in here? These are crumbs of flavor. And you don't want your crumbs to be um, black. You want to be brown like this. This is a perfect way you want your uh, crumbs to look. And they took most, I took most of the grease off and the grease, the oil from the chops, were just, it covered the skillet. That's all it did was cover the skillet. And I'm going to let these cook a little bit so they get a little tender. Then I'm going to put the other stuff in it, which I'm sorry, I had, what I used with this is simple. I'm using a, my, these are things I use. I use the shallot, I use the, uh, the uh, garlic, minced garlic, and I also be I also be using, I'm sorry, I also use, be using parsley and I'm using some cooking wine and here's the paste that I made. I'm, I'm going to let these brown, after these brown a little bit, I'm going to put the paste in it. Let it cook. You don't want these to cook, too. you don't want them to get full done because you want the season. And this will be, this is a sauce that will be going over my lamb chop. This has got to be good. Like I said, this is my first time and I hope I did a good job on it. Okay. And I'm gonna put some of this sauce in it that I made. That's all I had left is it should be about about two tablespoons of whatever you got left. Cause I cooked more I cooked a little bit more uh, chops than most people do. So I had a little less um, salt paste. Okay, I'm gonna let that cook. That ain't gonna take long at all for this. I'm almost finished. Let that cook in it, the paste I made, with my uh, minced garlic and my shallot. So that look, like I said, don't have too much oil in there. Don't have it burnt neither. That's it. I'm gonna put a couple of uh, wine in it. 
Have a cup of wine, just make some salt, put that in it, and let that cook. It's not a cup, because I want to go. Okay, that's not a cup. Well, I'm looking, y'all. I'm looking good. You're going to let this cook about two or three minutes to the flavor. And then I'm going to put some lemon juice. Just a little lemon juice in it. I'm going to call it a day. Just a little bit. Tap. And I'm going to put these parsley in it. And that's it. Simple. All this is going to do is drizzle over the uh, lamb chop. Let it simmer a little bit. That looks so good to me, y'all. Easy. First time I cook lamb chop, and everything's working out. Just follow my instructions, and you'll have a good lamb chop, too. I'm going to let this cook it down low for about ten, 5 or 10 minutes, and I'm going to get back with you. Thank you all for tuning in to my delic delicious <laughs> lamb chop. I put the best in it. It looks so good and tastes good. I added some broccoli, I mean as asparagus, and some um, garlic flavor, flavored uh, rice. And it looks so good my first time cooking it, and that is good. Make sure you use all the steps and the ingredients I use, and you'll get the same results. Once again, thank you all for tuning into Maddie's Kitchen and share this with others. Thank you very much.